Hi, I'm Greg Hallett, and I want to take just a few minutes and talk to you about the dreaded topic of all church pianists, transposing. Church pianists hate the word transposing. I remember that I used to run the other way. As a matter of fact, I would steer them and point to a pianist across the church. If somebody came to me and said, I need you to transpose this, I'd do anything I could um, to avoid transposing. It doesn't have to be that way, though. Believe it or not, this is a one-hour course that will teach you a system of transposing that actually works. Now, it's not the traditional way we think of transposing every note. It's a system, though, that's used by pretty much any professional that doesn't play by ear. Um, it's a system that actually will work, even if you don't play by ear. It's the system I use all the time. Let's take a little look at the, um, at the course itself. Here's a clip from the, the beginning of the course that will give you some insight into the system that is being taught. Now, let me give you a few introduction, um, introductory remarks here. I'm going to give you a, first of all, talk about three ways. I'm on page one of your book. We're talking about three ways that you could, at least in theory, learn to transpose. There are three possible ways. Number one, you could actually read music in real time and change every note to the new key, right? If you see uh, four or five notes in a chord, you could, in theory, in, your, in real time, change every note to move it up or down, a third, fourth, or whatever you have to do, to the new key. That is at least in theory possible. Now, here's the problem. I've been playing the piano for 30 years. I've been around musicians all, my whole life, and I've yet to meet one musician that does that. Not even one. Never. I, in theory, it'll work. In reality, it doesn't. Nobody does it. Okay, there's another way that you can do it. Number two is you just play by ear. You play by ear. If you play by ear well, you can just go between keys without half trying. And that is by far the main way that people learn to play in transpose. They learn to play in the new key in transpose just using their ear. That's the way I typically transpose. I just use my ear. Some of you aren't at that level. You don't have the skill yet to play by ear. And that brings me to the third way to transpose. There's an easy third way to transpose and that is the, st the style and the skill and the, the system that I'm going to teach you today. You're going to be surprised at how easy it is. But what we're going to do in this system, really, just to make it really simple, is we're going to transpose the harmony, and we're going to play the harmony in a new key. It's a very simple system. It's only going to take us a little less than an hour uh, to get through, and um, you'll have a tool that will help you. So if you watch that, you sort of know where I'm going in this course nothing magic, it just involves transposing the harmony. Now there's actually three steps to this system. First of all, we do have to transpose the melody. Now transposing a melody is very, very simple, but it's not always necessary. Most of the time you won't need to transpose the melody at all because most of the time when you transpose you're accompanying. For that reason, you don't want to play the melody. We don't usually play the melody when we accompany. But if you need to transpose a melody, I tell you how to do it. The next thing that you have to do is transpose the harmony. And of course, that's the nuts and bolts of the whole system. You think in terms of numbers, you label chords by number, and then you just change the numbers to any key you want to go to. It's that simple. The third step of the system, though, talks about playing stylistically accurately. For example, if you have, let's say, a choral arrangement where you have some interesting technical things going on, People may not appreciate it if you transpose, but you change the style too much. So we have to talk about how do you reproduce the music in the new key without reproducing every exact note, but reproducing with the same style so the, the normal, casual listener um, can't tell the difference. So you get the same effect. And that's step three of the system. Very simple system. I'm not going to say that you'll learn it in a day, but it is something that's doable. It's actually a system that you can use in your church and use often. So if you find yourself struggling with the concept of transposing, try this, this course.